accessories can really make a look or a style. And I love this belted version of the O'Keefe, probably because I'm not really a belt person. But I love the idea that belting a garment part way could really give you um, some nice shape in a silhouette and give you a place for interesting details. So this is my inspiration, this um, Georgia O'Keeffe um, dress that was in her wardrobe. And you can see her, her accent piece is that fabulous leather belt with the silver trim. So that was my inspiration to see if I could make something in fabric that gave me that same feel. So I started with the O'Keeffe pattern and I made several pieces of fabric and this is this is how it happened and it's actually a pretty straightforward process. The you notice in this particular image I've got um, several steps that I'm showing you and I think one of the important steps is that the fabric is on the bias. It is a metallic lightweight linen fabric but it is on the bias. So I made some bias shapes you can see the hand stitching and then I turned those shapes and after turning them and kind of steaming them and kind of giving them a little more character I wrapped them around um, my fabric um, band, which um, was going to be the main belt piece. So let me show you the the way that you know the size I was working with here. So here's my illustration for you, and the finished belt ends up being that you know two and three quarter ish kind of size with the edges wrapped around. And notice that bias piece diagonally across the illustration. That's the metallic piece of fabric I steamed and turned. The other piece of this is that on the back, the back is smaller than the front. So what happens is the front wraps around, as you can see in the illustration at the bottom, the, the metallic bias pieces wrap all the way around to the back and the seam is actually on the back. So that back piece is smaller than the front piece. So you'll want to use interfacing, you'll want to use what you know about kind of stabilizers to give yourself a little more body. It could even be batting that you might want to use in your um, belt piece. Um, so after I've made those little strips, as I showed you in the last image, and I wrapped them around and pinned them, then I stitched and I added back my back piece, and you can see in this shot, you can see those metallic pieces wrapping around to the back. Really straightforward, but I think it visually gives a look of volume to those bias fabric pieces and makes them more look um, much more like objects instead of just surface design that finishes at the edge. So I think the wraparound part is kind of key to how this how this all looks. Very straightforward, but really, really fun to make. In terms of closures, Closures can be, you might, have, you might have a collection of things that you already know you want to use. They could be big snaps. It could be hooks and eyes that you might use on pants or um, even a bra strap, you know, that you can get those pieces. You might use elastic so that you have a little more give there. Or you could use two D-rings, which would be to put one end through and then wrap it back through a, a, a second piece. So... Since this part is not going to show, the way I'm using it, it's on the inside and it's not going to show. So you got some nice options here about how that would actually finish the back of the, of the belt. You could also use a recycled belt buckle and put in a grommet and, and um, an eyelet and um, use a regular belt for that. So here's the way my finished belt looks. And uh, again, I loved finding a button that could be the center focal that kind of had a handmade look to it and kind of reminded me of kind of the crinkled um, linen X's on the top of the linen. Um, I love the way it looks with the, um, um, the two-tone linen and I did put interfacing in here. And if I was to do this one again, I probably would use a little bit of batting just to give a little bit of loft to that, um, the, the actual belt part. So 
this is how my belt turned out. And, you know, when you make a garment, whether it's this one or another garment, placement is really going to be individual and, and personal based on your um, your body shape and, and where your waist might actually be. Um, my opening in the O'Keefe, I left an opening three to four inches down from the armhole, the underneath side of the armhole. And the opening I left was three inches in that side seam so that it would move easily and not, you know, get hung up because it was too tight in that opening. And you can see it's lovely the way it just slips in there. And here's a finished, here's another shot of the finished look. I just really appreciate what a detail can do to make your wardrobe and your garment personal. So I can see lots of applications for this idea with the metallic bias strips and I know you're going to come up with some great ways to incorporate this into your design um, experience. So happy making and um, I look forward to seeing, seeing your O'Keefe belt.